Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about joint variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told to find the constant variation and to write the equation given this following samples class. So the next part of our video class for the joint variation, we will be solving indicated variable. So example, you are told to find x, to find r. So we will explain that class on the next part of our video. So this time, We'll just be focusing and finding the constant variation and the right equation. Alright, so let's start with number one. Now, once again, class, in joint variation, there are two or more variables involved. So, first thing to do is you write the equation. So, it says A varies jointly as B and C. So, you can write that one as A varies jointly. So, K there. Well, do not forget K varies jointly as B and C. So, that's the thing there, class, in joint variation. Two or more variables involved. Just simply multiply, class. A varies jointly as B and C. So, okay, always remember that there is K there. So, once again, to find the constant variation, you need you just need to substitute this value, A, B, and C. And once you get K, once again, class, the constant variation, that is K. Now, once you get K, just simply substitute K from this equation, and that would be the equation, class. Alright, so our A is 36, so 36 equals, so we need to find K, the constant variation. Our B is 3, so that would be 3. Once again, because if you have K, B, C, it means K times B times C. If you have variables close to each other class, it means multiplication. So B is 3 and C is 4. Alright, and then you multiply, you simplify, so this will be 36 equals... K times 3, that is 3K, times 4, that is 12K. Once again, 3 times 4, that is 12, times K, that would be 12K class. Number should come first before the letter class. It should be 12K. It's not K, 12 class. It should be 12K. Alright, so 3 times 4, that is 12, times K, that is 12K. Now, to get the value of K, you just simply divide both sides by 12 to eliminate 12 class. So, divide by 12... And there you have it, your K is, so 36 divided by 12 plus, what's the answer? That's correct, 36 divided by 12, that is 3. And that's the value of K. Once again, do not be confused, 3 equals K is just the same with 3, K equals 3. This is just the same plus. Do not be confused with this one, this is just the same. Alright, so your K is 3. Now, once you get K, you can write the equation plus. Simply substitute this K from this given equation. So our equation will be A equals, our K is 3, simply substitute 3 from this K. Okay, so our K is 3, 3 then B, C. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right, for number 1? So, so easy for number 1. Simply get K, and once you get K, simply substitute K from this equation. And that's it, class. That's the answer for number 1. Right? Easy, right? For number one. So, let's try number two. You pause the video class. I will be erasing this one. Let's try number two. Alright. For number two, it says, Z varies jointly as X and Y. Okay? So, Z varies jointly as X. Okay? Do not forget K class. There's always K there. So, varies jointly as X and Y. So your Z is 16. Simply substitute 16. Once again, we need to find K for us to write the equation. So 16 equals your X is copy K. So your X is 4 times 4. And then your Y is 6. Then Y is 6. Alright, so we have X is 4 and then Y is 6. So multiply. So this is 16 equals K then 4 times 6, that is 24. You can just simply multiply this one. Or let's multiply the number first. 4, 4 times 6, that is 24. Then 24. 24 times K, that is 24K. So 16 equals 24K. Now, if you're good in this, you can just simply multiply. Because K times 4, that is 4K. Times 6, that is 24K. And to get the value of K, you divide both sides by 24. Divide both sides by 24. And our answer will be, you can cancel this out. So, can we divide 16 by 24? Nope. We get a decimal answer. 
and it will be confusing class if you're dealing with decimals so do not do not divide this one because if you you will get a decimal answer so the thing that we will do you, you reduce class can we reduce 16 and 24 can we reduce yep you find the GCF class once again you will be asking question sir is it necessary to reduce the fraction to its lowest term yep that's actually mandatory class that you always reduce the fraction to its lowest term. Alright, so once again, this is 16 over 24 equals K. Or we can write this one as K equals 6. You can write this one K equals 16 over 24. That's the same class. Alright, so let me just write this one as K equals 16 over 24. So once again, do not divide because if you will divide class, you will get a decimal answer. Instead, you reduce. Okay, so redu you, do, you reduce the fraction class. What would be the greatest common factor class of 16 and 24? That's correct. We can divide this one by 8, right? We can divide 16 by 8. We can also divide 24 by 8. So the GCF of 16 and 24, that is 8. So divide it by 8. So 16 divided by 2. And I'm sorry, 16 divided by 8, that is 2. And 24 divided by 8, that is 3. So therefore, our K is 2 thirds. So that's the answer class of K. Now, once you get K, you just simply substitute K from this equation. So our equation will be Z equals K is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds, then copy X, then copy Y. Easy, right, for number 2? So that's the answer class for number 2. All right, so let's try number t three. You pause the video class for number two. Let's try number three. All right, so let's try number three. Let me erase this one. So that's how you solve class for the constant variation, and then you write the equation. So if you have some questions, class, with regards to joint variation, go ahead, class. All right, go ahead. You put your comment or you put your question in the comment section down below. We will be answering that one. If you're confused about the square cube. So go ahead, let's just put your comment in the comment section down below. Alright, so number 3, Q varies jointly as R and S. So that would be Q varies jointly. So once again, in, in joint variation class, it, it will be all multiplication. So varies jointly as R and S. So do not forget K, then R and S. And Q is 2.4. So we have a decimal now. So 2.4 for Q equals copy k because we need to find k our r is 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.6 then multiplied by s is 0 0.8 so this will be 2.4 equals k so you multiply this one plus 0 0.6 times 0 0.8 that would be 0 0.48 right okay let me check this. 0 0.6 times 0 0.8 so 6 times 8 that is 40 uh, sorry, 8 times 6, that is 48. Or we can have this one. 8 times 6, that is 48. 8, carry 4. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 4, that is 4. 0 times 6, that is 0. 0 times 0, that is 0. So copy 8. Alright, so copy 8. So copy 8, add. So 8 plus... Bring down 8, so 4 plus 0, that is 4, then 0. So then you count decimal, how many decimal places? 1, 2, so 1, 2, that's it. So 0 0.48. I hope you remember this one class in multiplying decimals. Or you can just simply multiply 8 times 6, that is 48, then copy how many decimal places. So we have 1, 2, so put point in this 48, then you will have 0 0.48. So your K is, or you multiply this one and the answer is 0 0.48. So this will be 0 0.6 times 0 0.8, that is 0 0.48. Then times K, so that would be 2.4 equals 0 0.48 K. Alright, and to get the value of K, you divide both sides by 0 0.48. So divide by 0 0.48. And then you cancel this out plus. Cancel this out. And you need to divide this one class. So do you still remember this one? Dividing decimals. So let me just get another board. I hope you remember this one class in dividing decimals. So 2.4 divided by this one. 
So, 2.4 divide. So, 0 0.48. So, 2.4 divided by 0 0.48. So, I hope you remember this one class, dividing decimals. But if not, we will explain that here. So, 0 point or 2.4 divided by 0 0.48. So the thing that we will do class in dividing decimals, you need to make this divisor a whole number class. Always remember that one. It will be confusing if you are dividing decimal in which your divisor is a decimal. So the thing that we will do, we need to make this divisor into a whole number. How to do that one sir? Just move the decimal point class from left to right. So move this decimal point from left to right. One, two. So this 48, it will become positive 48. Alright, so because you move the decimal point from left to right, 1, 2, so instead of 0 0.48, it will become 48. The point there is on the right side, the last part of 8. And then this one, now once you move two decimal places from left to right in this divisor, you also do that on the dividend to make the equation balance. Because always remember this one, once you move two decimal places from left to right from this divisor, you also do that on the dividend. So you move two decimal places, one, two, so therefore we will add zero. And this will be 240 divided by 48. So this will be 240 divided by 48. So what will be the answer class? 240 divided by 48, 24 divided by 48. We cannot divide, so 24 divided by 48, we cannot divide, so it means that we will be using 240. Let's check plus 240 divided by 48. Let's try 5. 48 times 5. 5 times 8, that is 40. 0 carry 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 4, that is 24. Therefore, 240 divided by 4, 240 divided by 48, that is 5. So 5, then 5 times 48, that is 240. Then subtract 0. So ter therefore, 240 divided by 48, that is 5. So this will be 2.4 divided by 0 0.48. Even if you use the calculator, you will get this answer class, 5. Right now, if the teacher will not use, allow you to use the calculator, this will be the thing that you will do class. Just remember this one. Okay, so our answer is 5. So this will be 5 equals k. Alright, so I hope you're not confused with that one class with regards to decimals. So if you're confused, do not be worried class. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. We will be answering that one. If you have some questions class, go ahead class. Feel free to leave a comment class. And our equation will be, so copy this one Q, then our K is 5, then R, then S. That's it. Class. That's the answer for number 3. So that's how you find the constant variation. And that's how you write the equation class. So if you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask class. Just leave your comment or question in the comment section down below. So you try this one class. Let me check if you really understand our topic for this morning. So you try this one. So why? So let me just erase this one class. Here, number three. So you try this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand our topic. Try that one class. Y varies jointly. You try this one. Y varies jointly as X and Z. And Y equals 6 and X equals 2. Then Z equals 5. So you try to find the value of K and then you write the equation. Class. Let me check if you really understand our topic. So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.